North Korean leader Kim Jong-un arrived at a cosmodrome in Russian Far East on Wednesday for a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. This meeting underlined how two leaders' interests overlap in face of their respective intensifying conflicts with United States. Putin welcomed Kim at the entrance of the launch vehicle assembly building. The two men shook hands. And Putin said he was very happy to see Kim. Kim's translator thanked Putin for his warm welcome even though he was busy. The two leaders will inspect the cosmodrome and then sit down for talks. Russian state media reported. Hours earlier, North Korea launched two ballistic missiles toward the sea, launching a highly provocative run on North Korean weapons testing since early 2022 as Kim uses the distraction caused by Putin's war against Ukraine to accelerate weapons development. For Putin, meeting with Kim is an opportunity to replenish the ammunition depots depleted by 18-month war. Putin and Kim talk in the rocket assembly hangar during their meeting. For Kim, this is a chance to bypass UN sanctions and years of diplomatic isolation. Kim is expected to seek economic aid and military technology, but the arms deal would violate international sanctions that Russia has supported in the past South. Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff did not immediately say how far the North Korean missiles flew. Reed Qantas declared illegal to outsource more than 1,600 jobs in pandemic North Korean leader Kim. Jong-un got off his armored train after crossing the Russian border in Kasan, about 127 kilometers south of Vladivostok. Kim traveled to Russia to see President Vladimir Putin for questionable arms talks. Kim shaking hands with Oleg Kozhimyako governor of Russia's far eastern region of Primorsky Krai, at Russia's Kasan station. According to North Korean state media and video posted on social media, he was welcomed on the red carpet by regional governor Oleg Kozhimyako and Minister of Natural Resources Alexander Kozlov. North Korea's official news agency said on Wednesday that Kim's decision to visit Russia four years after his previous visit showed how Pyongyang prioritizes the strategic importance of its relations with Moscow. The Korean Central News Agency said Kim then departed for his destination, but did not specify where. A rolling castle inside Kim Jong-un's private armored train Putin is attending an economic forum this week in Vladivostok, a Russian city near border where the two leaders had their last meeting and Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said two leaders would meet later. Russian news agency R.I. Novosti reported that Kim's train headed north after crossing the Razdolnaya River, taking him away from Vladivostok. South Korean news agency Yonhap later published photo that it said showed the train in Usarysk, a city with sizable ethnic Korean population about 60 kilometers north of Vladivostok. Some Russian news media suggest he is headed for the Vostochny spaceport, where Putin